Hello again, it is I, Manduk. Um, today I'm going to be talking a bit about Dragon Ball Kai, or Dragon Ball Z Kai. Um, now, I mentioned uh, in my early review of Dragon Ball Z briefly why it was my favorite anime. Um, now, I know a lot of people have had some controversial feelings about Dragon Ball Kai, and I don't know if this will surprise anybody, I mean, I don't know why it would. Um, I actually like Dragon Ball Kai. Um, I can understand people's nostalgic attachment to the older show, certain things, certain lines, you know, just the pacing of the show. But I do find it ironic that the, a lot of the things that people were complaining about, the producers, you know, changed, you know, Kira Toriyama himself adjusted to make it more like the manga, which, you know, the, to the true fans who, you know, read the manga and, you know, loved that above all, um, and yet, a lot of people are complaining about the changes that are made, even though they were complaining about them to begin with. I mean, you know, I love the original show, the, the way it was originally shown, honestly. But a lot of that has to do with nostalgia, to be perfectly honest. But I still love the show, and there are certain things about the show that I really love, and I always felt that it was one of those shows that really had a lot of potential to be better than it was. Um it might have to break away from its repetition and go into, you know, more depth and more complexity and storylines and character development than it was built to do, but then again, then it might not be Dragon Ball Z. The point is, Dragon Ball Kai is basically, if you haven't seen it yet, or you refuse to see it, or if you watched one episode and then said, no, hell with it, um, there's nothing different about it. It is basically a recut, edited uh, format of the original series that's kind of been remastered. It's not like they did completely new animation, which would have been awesome. Um, but they basically enhanced it to make all the imagery brighter, got rid of some of the line to make it seem, uh, I guess, shinier. It just seems like a newer show. Like, the animation genuinely seems a bit newer. It seems more up to date. Like, it could have come out, you know, a year ago or less, which it did. Um, there's little hints of CGI. Um, all the basic elements of the story are there. Like, if you watched Dragon Ball Z as a kid, you know, all the basic story elements are there, all the major events happen, all the... they say pretty much the same things. You know, really. But there are lots of subtle differences, which, ironically, might change your perception of the show. I mean, it's hard to explain. Like, it... it's the same show, but it's different in, in certain ways. It's, it's not exactly... it's not the Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball part of that story that we grew up with, you know, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, it is and it isn't. Uh, they basically changed the dialogue so that it matches the manga, um, and they did most of the same voice actors, uh, pretty much, not all of them, but most of them came back and they read the dialogue and they really got into it. And these people really, really loved it when they put, and you can tell they put a lot of time and effort, they know these characters, they love them. You can tell there's a lot more heart, and it, they don't rely so much on the Bruce Falconer soundtrack to keep uh, the suspense going. They actually also changed the music and kind of fused it with the Japanese soundtrack, um, kind of made it a little more modern, mixed it with kind of rock and classical different points. Um, let's see, my thoughts on the music, I believe that, personally, I believe that if Dragon Ball Kai had more of the Bruce Falconer soundtrack, not necessarily all of it, but at least some of it there, I think it would be the perfect, or just about perfect, the Dragon Ball Z, Kai, whatever series for me. Honestly. This show is really good. If you were a fan of the show, but you honestly couldn't get past some of the problems that, you know, have been mentioned about it, this is the show. Um... I've watched the first three seasons, like, the, I guess they'll be the first, like, 39 episodes and a few of the other ones later. It's really good. Like, the dialogue is better. The voice acting is better. Uh, yes, they did get different voice actors uh, for um, Frieza and Gohan, but they both do a good job. And in my opinion, especially in the case of Frieza, who's also voiced us for Tangu Speed Graffer, another anime I like, um... He does a fantastic job as Frieza. I mean, don't get me wrong, I liked the old Frieza. I thought it was kind of creepy to have that weird granny voice, whatever. But really, uh, this new Frieza really helps to uh, capture the essence of 
Frieza as a warlord, as a strategist, as an intelligent threat, um, as opposed to just being like a big brute that honestly didn't seem like there was really much impressive about him other than his particular strength. Um, this Frieza seems like a guy that you really could fear in all aspects. Um, they cut out a lot of the fighting, like all the fast-paced punching and stuff. I mean, it's there, but it's cut down a lot more. Like, it's it's not annoying. In fact, it's barely noticeable. They really focus on the best aspects of all the fights and manage to make it interesting. It feels a little too fast-paced at times, actually, I think. Like, I don't think they should have taken out all the filler like they did. Like, some of the filler from the show was good, and I thought it helped with character development. Uh, but, honestly, they do a good job without it, and the story still holds together. Um, it's really good. Uh, if you can get past nostalgia, I mean, honestly, I, like I said, I love certain aspects about Dragon Ball Z, you know, the way it was originally shown. I miss the Bruce Falconer soundtrack. I miss a few lines of dialogue. Um, a few of the lines of dialogue I think kind of, you know, missing kind of annoy me, like Goku really having, um, deciding, there, there was actually one thing about, uh, about Dragon Ball Kai that really annoyed me. Really, really annoyed me. And that was probably the slight difference in Goku's portrayal as a character. Uh, my only real, real big gripe with the series, which I know isn't really, I guess, a legitimate gripe, but um, it's just that some of the lines that he said in the original version of the series are different than in the new one, than in Kai which is truer to the manga, truer to the character. And it's still Goku, but basically when Krillin's about to kill Vegeta after the battle on Earth, Goku lets, just wants to let him live and tells Krillin not to kill Vegeta. But not like in the original airing of the show back in the Ocean Days when he said basically, you know, don't let him go because I see the good in him and, you know, I, I think that everyone deserves a second chance, which is a stupid reason, but at least you can kind of forgive Goku because he's so naive, he's so pure-hearted, you know, it's just... Goku's character. It's one of the reasons you love him. You know, he sees the you know the best in everybody, and that's his greatest strength and weakness, really. Um, in Kai, the dialogue is basically he wants to let Vegeta go so that he knows he can beat him on his own eventually because he believes that there are higher levels of power, greater challenges for him to face, so he can grow as a warrior or whatever. It's his it's an issue of pride and competition, and honestly, I thought it made Goku seem less intelligent and kind of shallow. I, I know that's pro that's not really how it, it felt. I mean, there's the whole warrior code, and it was Goku. It was Goku's character, but I don't know. It was a slightly different twist and just kind of added um, different feelings about the character. Plus, they got rid of Vegeta's death speech later on, which I thought the first one was better. The one in Kai I thought was good, but not quite as good. Um, but really, it's just, it's just nitpicking. Anyone that's reviewed it already kind of knows this. Um, but seriously, in my opinion, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, Dragon Ball Kai, from a critical point of view, an objective point of view, it is a better show. It's a really good show, uh, honestly. It's got all the same old Dragon Ball Z stuff, but it brings new freshness to it. And it, it tells the same story, but in a new and honestly truer way to its base form. Um, it's really good, and... Um, I can't wait to uh, see the rest of it. Um, yeah, uh, Dragon Ball Kai is definitely worth checking out. If you don't like it, I can understand that. Yeah, there's got to be some nostalgia. But um, quite frankly, uh, I, I bought some of the uh, original seasons of Dragon Ball Z, but I'm probably going to buy some Kai too. Um, as silly as that sounds, I just like it. It's it's just really good. Uh, it's, it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah, Kai is really good. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, this is Manduke once again, signing off. See you next time.